few videos back I showed you some castings that I was making. They are finally fully cured blocks that I'm going to make into pens. Some of the castings have walnuts in them, some of them have pine cones in them where I've taken the leaves off and just let the core of the pine cone. Others are little tiny corn cob pieces are about three to four inches long. In some cases I added translucent dyes, whether red or blue or sometimes even perlex. I think I added a purple perlex and a blue perlex to some of these blanks. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make some pens here and I cut up that reddish colored pen blank with the pine cones in it and you can see that's kind of cool so I'm hoping that'll come out nice. You can see that one too. There's two there that I already cut and uh, squared off and drilled the holes in. I'm getting ready to glue these up and I'm going to put them in this uh, pen here. It's a Majestic Squire. That's what it looks like in black and white and it's chrome I believe I have. Yeah. Chrome. So, you know, I'll take you to the next step. This is what I use. It's a little clamp that holds the square blanks in place, and then I use a drill press to uh, drill a hole in the metal. So, here are a couple more of the blanks. This one's clear on top, so I'm hoping that'll look kind of cool. You'll be able to see the brass tube inside which I like a lot of people paint them but I kind of like to see that I like to see the mechanics of the uh, and the mechanisms of the uh, pens and other pieces that I make so that's what I uh, want to see and in part I'll see it because there's a red dye in there so that'll be seen shown too so what I do now is I take this brush and put it in the hole and uh, clean it out. Of course, I don't have a stand for my phone that I can figure out how to work. So I'm still struggling with handheld. But I basically clean out these holes. So when I put the clear setting epoxy on this, if I go and I have a clear resin, I can see this brass and it won't be yellow like the some of the epoxies are. Um, but anyway, it, I'll clean it out so it'll hold better. That's the idea. And these are all brushed already. They were purchased that way, so I don't have to brush them. That's nice. This is the next uh, mold that I'm going to cut up. I put uh, walnuts in here, and I put them in different places. And uh, kind of see that one right there at the end. Can't really see them too well, but I'm going to cut them. It's about a 7 8 inch cut I'm cutting. So I'll make those square. I have three pens that I want to try and make out of this. They're uh, Montague twist pens. I'll show you those in a minute. The pen is going to look like, obviously, in black and white. And these are the three already brushed tubes. So that's nice that they're already brushed. And this is one of the kits. I've got one in copper. Um, looks like an antique gold. And then a antique chrome. I'm not sure exactly what they call them. It doesn't really matter. It's it's gonna they're gonna go well I think with the blue and the chestnut or walnut rather. So we'll see about how those look. I cut that block into five pieces and you can see the halves of the walnuts. Oops, so I think those might look pretty cool. I didn't wipe them down with anything, so this is just after they're cut, you can see the blade marks and everything. But I, th I think they're going to look pretty cool. So I am going to make some more pens, at least prepare the blanks. And this one is for something called a Polaris twist pen. These ones that I'm making are all single tube, uh, so they only require a very long tube, but Nonetheless, a uh, single tube. And there's one of the other kits. This one's chrome. 
That one's gold. Gold. I got two chrome and two gold, and these are the bushings for it. And this is these are the, the directions. I believe I got these at Penn State Industries. And I had to cut new tubes, which I had extras, and I also had to sand them. Those are the filings from the sanding. So I sanded them with an 80 grit sandpaper so the glue will hold better. So now all four of those are sanded nicely and I'm ready to put those in. I need to make blanks first and drill holes in them, clean out the holes, and then at the same time I'll glue those up for the previous batch that I did and uh, I'll get back to you at that point. I decided that I was going to use these two pieces to make the four and I'm hoping this one turns out cool obviously I'll cut that off and this one has some translucent dyes that are just floating around there and I don't know we'll see how those look I think those might look pretty cool we'll see so I drilled the holes in and cleaned them out and I was starting to wonder actually what it might look like see the brass tube you can see it and I thought, mm, brass and these colors may not go together so well, which may be why people paint these tubes. So I thought maybe I should paint just two of them. This one's kind of cool. I think I might leave this one brass, and I think I might leave this one brass. But this one, it's hard to tell because it's not cleaned up yet but this one I may end up painting uh, color and I'm not sure what color and if you can see also there's little holes in the pine cone so I don't know how that's gonna turn I might end up once they turn needing to fill them with some CA glue and it'd be a lot of work but uh, I don't know we'll see how that turns out. Remember, one of these was a half a pine cone and one of them was a full pine cone, but I ended up chopping it off. So, I know we'll see how those look when they're milled. Okay, so I painted this tube with um, this, I think it says just gold. And that's the tube. I'm going to let that dry, and then I painted this one with silver. These little oil-based testers for models, I guess. And the gold one I was going to put in this one. Maybe I should do the silver one since there's silver in this. I don't know how deep that is, though. So maybe I'll put... I guess I'll put this... I don't know, I'll decide. Here are some photos of the pens. There are several images of each pen from different vantage points, just to show you the details of them. If you like, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up or go to my website at mhstudios.com or if you're interested in purchasing anything that I make, you can go to my Etsy site at MH Studios Melanie. Thank you.